the beauty that we are in the moment. We resist it because we want to overcome our fear. We want to get rid of it instead of learning from it, you see. And when you face fear for the way it is, that very fear brings you to now. And now is always joy. Now, this moment is always joy. But all it takes is one thought. How do I look? Am I doing it right? <laughs> That's all it takes and all joy has gone out the window. Just like getting up to dance and you just can't wait to dance because you love dancing so much. And all of a sudden people start staring at you. Am I dancing okay? <laughs> and there's self-consciousness. All joy has gone. You see? The image comes back. The moment the image, a personal image comes, joy can't exist. Only the dissolution of that image can there be joy. Joy is the disappearance of you into a greater whole that is you. So how many people can be in the state of joy for any length of time? You. Joy? Because is of our nature of thoughts that take you out of joy. It, it, how much joy can you be in? You cannot be in joy. Joy is always there. Okay. Joy is always there when you are not conscious of you. Joy is always there. It's always present. There's never a time when joy is not, because joy is not something. Okay, think of now. <laughs> of course you can't. You, you'll objectify it, but, but we have to use words. <laughs> now is. You see? Now, forget everything. Forget, forget your past, forget your future, forget your name, forget what you think you know. Forget everything. Just be here. All of a sudden you feel joyous. Because joy is not something. It is the very nothingness itself. It is the nature of emptiness. You see? Joy is the same like freedom, the same like love. It is not something. It has no quality. It doesn't come and go. It's always there. It's always here. But in order for us to live from it, we have to dissolve. You see? That's the only time that we can be at peace. Like so many people say, you know, um, Gee, I want peace so badly. You know, how can I find peace? You can't find peace as long as you think you're going to find it. Peace is not foundable. No, what's the word? Not findable. <laughs> no. What is the word? You can't find peace. Peace is. If someone is brain dead, yeah. would you say he's enjoyed? It's possible. It's possible because, you see, like um, somebody was experiencing their, their, their father being with Alzheimer's for the last 10 years and he was very disturbed and he was asking um, Adi Ashanti, he was saying he says but you know he has no personality the man we used to know is gone so what is there? you see? and what is there? being hmm? being being, being. So joy yeah well, not necessarily, because if, he, if he's disturbed at the moment, then he is that disturbance. But he, if he reaches moments when he's not, where there's no thought, no fear at all, in Alzheimer's you experience fear. But if there are moments of that, then there is joy, yes. You see? So, so the, the point is that nothing happens to, it only happens to a person disease, old age, uh, anything happens to a person. But when you realize you're not a person anymore, no, no, that doesn't mean you, you've lost being a person. You've never been a person. You've never been a person, but you realize it. Okay? Then, then, you, begin to, then you begin to see how grand you really are, how vast you are. You begin to see that you are empty. You see, that's why Buddha was so beautiful. He didn't use the word God or anything. He says, emptiness is form, form is emptiness. There's only emptiness. Nirvana, emptiness, you see. Many people did not understand it. But that's the real teaching of Buddha. You see, emptiness. And emptiness is so beautiful because emptiness is the highest. 
what we crave, what we want more than anything. You see? It is that, it is that great void and that's why most people are afraid of being in the moment. Because in the moment, when there is no past, you don't know who you are and you get frightened. <gasps> who am I? I don't have an identity. I feel lost. But it's beautiful to be lost. You see? Because that's what spirit is. Because when you're lost, you're found. Jesus said, when you lose yourself, you find yourself. See, and that is the, the, the paradox. Another juicy one, yeah. Why did life decide to appear as you? It didn't. It didn't decide? Well, you know, just a word. We wanted company. Hmm? We wanted company. <laughs> well, you can say that. <laughs> you can say that, yes. Life decided to appear as you. Isn't that beautiful? But there's no decision making, of course. It is just what is. But it decided to appear as you. Now if you if you if you just meditate on that, really, take that with you. Of course you want to achieve an answer, because if you don't have an answer, you objectify it. So forget an answer. Just forget about answering it. Life decided to appear as I am. Imagine that. And if you begin to feel it even minutely, you begin to see the power of it, the beauty of it, the joy of it, the gratitude of it. You see? And you'll stop taking things for granted. Your life for granted. Where does creativity come in? Oh, creativity is the moment. You see, if you are totally in the moment, and you love something completely, you love it, Whatever it is, what is it that you love? Art, music? Mm. Hmm? Art. Art. Okay. Okay, take art for example. You're totally empty in the moment, but you love art. Okay? All of a sudden you begin to cre get creative ideas. It's spontaneous. It comes. You see? It doesn't come from your past. Because if it comes from your past, it's old. How do you know if it's old? You, you feel inspired. You just feel inspired, you just feel moved. So you just feel, oh, wow, you know, just this idea, yeah, 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 yeah. You feel that, you feel that energy, because it comes from, from the totality. You see, that's what inspiration is. You see, when you're in touch with the holistic energy, then, then it, it comes to you. It, it comes through you. Beethoven was deaf when he composed some of his be best music. You see? How? It came through him. See? And it, it comes through that this is what creativity is. It is inspiration. And inspiration means it's coming not from you. It's coming from the is, from the emptiness, from the totality. That's what inspiration is. So the more you empty yourself with the love that you have, Okay, the more creative you become about it. But if you think, I am doing it, it is me who's doing it, then you stifle it. And then you block your creativity. Because you, when there's creative thought, it is not you. It is harnessing the totality that's coming through you. You're being a vehicle of the is, the empty space. Hmm. 